All right, guys, let's get stuck into this. Uh, there's plenty to get through. Just about every newspaper in the world right now is dominated by the coronavirus. PM's cash splash to save jobs. Small and medium-sized businesses that employ 8 million workers will be given up to $25,000 in cash. And instant uh, asset write-offs will be extended to 3.5 million businesses under a $9 billion first tranche. Um, a stimulus package aimed at keeping employers afloat and saving jobs during the coronavirus uh, outbreak. Business stimulus package, $6.7 billion to boost business cash flow. The measure will help about 690,000 business employing 7.8 million people. $1.3 billion to support 120,000 apprentices. Employers will be given a wage subsidy of 50% of the apprentice's wage from January 1 to September 30, 2020, and 700 million in an expanded in instant asset write-off. The threshold will be increased from 30 grand to 150 grand, and access will be expanded to businesses from an annual turnover from up to $50 million to up to $500 million. David Christofulli, this is a measured, strong and, uh, and uh, resilient approach to yeah. this crisis thus far from Scott Morrison. Yeah, pretty well balanced, Glee. So, so sometimes you can uh, overreact one way or another. So you can put too much money into that early cash stimulus and, and, and that goes boom and then disappears. Other times you can spend too much on infrastructure that doesn't give you a longer term payoff. This is a very good balance. It, it, it puts money in the hands of those consumers who will spend and spend quickly and that'll help stabilise. Uh, but the play with apprentices here is very, very clever because they can be collateral damage in a situation like this. This is the carrot needed for an employer, particularly the smaller ones, and that's where you know they're really going to feel the pinch. This will be uh, that incentive needed to hold those staff. And you want to hold those staff because as the PM says, we will pull out of this. Now, we'll talk, I'm sure, about how dire this will be, uh, and there's no doubt about it, but, but there will be good times at the end of it, despite all the pain that goes through. It's nothing worse than burning good employees who will be your tradesmen of the future. Uh, you're not going to get them otherwise. They then disappear. They go on the unemployment scrap heap. This is a very well-balanced approach, I can tell you. Caleb, let's go to the front of the Fin Review. $17 billion stimulus to avoid recession. Fast-track investment breaks, $25,000 to smaller businesses, apprentice wage subsidies and one-off pension and dull payments. The federal government will attempt to stave off rece uh, a recession caused by the coronavirus outbreak by splurging about $17 billion on economic stimulus measures, including incentives to fast-track investment, wage subsidies for apprentices and cash payments of up to $25,000 for small and medium-sized businesses to save jobs. It is, as I said, a very strong fiscal measure thus far. Uh, yeah, I think you're right. I mean, uh, amongst all of the hysteria, and it truly is at this point, hysteria that has set in amongst many people when it comes to coronavirus, it is nice to see a somewhat measured approach being taken by the government. I have to say I'm a bit disappointed that it took this long for people to start worrying or the government to start worrying about apprentices. I mean, apprenticeships in this country have been going through the floor for at least a decade uh, and very little has been done to rectify that. So I, I totally welcome uh, help to keep apprentices in jobs and perhaps even promote more apprentices being taken on. And I would like to think that after all of this is over, that is something that the government would consider as a, a long-term solution, perhaps, uh, to the, the dearth we have in terms of people going into trades. Um, it's just sad that we've got to this point where the government has to basically uh, bail out consumers and businesses because of the effect of the coronavirus, but there's nothing we can do about that. I mean, the, the budget be damned at this point in time. We have to accept uh, that coronavirus has done so much damage, not just to Australia, um, but to economies worldwide, to the stock market. I um, mean, you think of countries like Italy and China and so forth at the moment uh, that have countries like us uh, saying, A, we don't want people coming from there, we're not uh, exporting or importing anything from there, their industries are shutting down. They've got it ten times worse than we have, uh, and yet we see how bad it is for us. I'd, I'd hate to think how they're going to fare, um, but this is, I, I think, fair, justifiable 
uh, and logical solutions that are being offered by the government in times of economic need. We know that stimulus is needed. We need people to spend money. And putting it in the hands of those who we know are going to spend it rather than those who are going to stockpile it like they might toilet paper um, and hang on to it and save it uh, is a good thing. I, I argued uh, a long time ago that uh, if you are going to have any kind of economic stimulus, the first people you should give money to are pensioners. Because, you know, when you get to mm. uh, the twilight years of your life, you're not saving money. You want to have a good quality of life. You, you want to spend money. So if you mm. put money in the hands of pensioners uh, and people who are on Newstart and so forth who desperately want more money to spend, they are going to spend it. That money is going to cycle back through the economy. Uh, it is the smartest form of economic stimulus possible, rather than going down the rudd route, for instance, uh, where you just indiscriminately give everyone $900. Some people put that $900 away. You put it in the hands of people who are going to spend mm. it, and it is far more effective.